Since 1963, ATAS International has been a leading manufacturer of metal wall and roof systems. In this video, we will cover basic installation details pertaining to our Winlock series of profiles being applied over a solid substrate in a horizontal application. At the top of wall, a J closure, reverse J, or J channel trim with angle trim is typically installed. If the wall terminates at a soffit condition, then snap J and angle trim are used. If the top of the wall is being covered by perimeter edge metal, PEM, then a J closure is used. In both installations, a support Z may be necessary. Before the last panel is attached to the substrate, the top trim should be installed. We are going to show the details as it applies to the PEM going over the top of the wall at this intersection. A measurement should be taken to see what portion, if any, of the last panel will need to be removed. The J closure is located so that when the PEM is installed, it will cover over the face of the J closure reverse J. The outside of the J closure reverse J is a wash coat and the painted side is on the interior. A support Z may need to be applied to the substrate to ensure that you can fasten the last panel. The panel should be riveted 12 inches on center to the support Z. VHB tape can be used as an alternative fastening method to rivets. Please follow all manufacturer's directions for proper adhesion and performance. Top of the wall is budding a soffit area. The same installation method as below a window should be used. The base trim is installed along with the angle trim and then the panels are installed. If the panel ends on a high rib under the window, a support Z should be installed behind the panel, and a panel should be riveted 12 inches on center to the support Z. If the panel ends on a low rib, the panel can be fastened to the substrate directly if the cover hides the fasteners. Trim should be fastened two foot on center with proper fasteners. For more installation details, please visit www.ataz.com